Have you ever seen that dreaded Gmail screen saying your account is disabled? If you have, you know how nerve-wracking it can be. This message often signals serious trouble. It means you've lost access to your account and in worst cases might not be able to get it back. Google disables accounts that were not following their policies. One particularly common violation among cold email senders is exceeding the provider's sending limits. Today, I'll show you exactly how you can reduce the chances of exceeding those limits by almost 60%. And that is backed by over a year of solid testing data on our end. So you don't break into a cold sweat when you see this again. There is a way to avoid that, so stay with me. Email providers like Gmail set daily limits for sending emails, sometimes even hourly. Exceeding them can get your account blocked and hurt your domain reputation. Unfortunately, many senders forget or aren't aware of these limits. Also, the tricky part is that such blockades can also be caused by spam suspicion. Sometimes Google can limit your sending, stating that the limits have been exceeded, whereas the actual reason is linked to receiving repetitive spam bounces. Google warns you when you hit a sending limit and often imposes a 24-hour block on your account during which the sending is halted. However, whatever the reason for the blockade, your email sending tool might ignore these warnings and still attempt to send emails at the same volume. This behavior sustains a high bounce rate in your campaigns and increases the chances of repetitive blocks from your provider. A high bounce rate of over 2% damages your domain reputation. The lower your reputation, the higher your risk to land in spam. And if you land in spam, you won't get any deals, period. So how can you avoid getting blocked by Gmail? Of course, by making some adjustments to your sending practices, but some of it can be done automatically. When it comes to limits, Woodpecker has a mechanism that predicts and prevents you from reaching your provider's limits. It does so with around 60% accuracy. We run an A-B test for over a year on thousands of mailboxes to prove that. It's called adaptive sending, and it can predict when your account is at risk of being restricted, meaning getting a 24-hour block, and adjust your sending behavior to lower that risk. Of course, it's all done for you in the background. It's also free of charge for our users, if you are wondering. So when you use Woodpecker's adaptive sending, your chances of getting your account completely suspended are much, much lower. Still not sure how it works? Imagine it as a speed driving limit. If you see a slow down sign on the road, the best action is to lower the speed so that it does not result in a large fine or, in the worst case, the loss of the driver's license. With adaptive sending, you don't have to pull the brakes yourself. It automatically adapts your sending. The only thing you have to do is to switch it on in the sending settings of your mailbox at Woodpecker. Let's compare two possible sending journeys. The red path represents sending without adaptive sending, while the green path uses adaptive sending. With adaptive sending, your campaigns run smoothly as the system automatically adjusts to the new limits, lowering the chances of any interruptions. In contrast, without adaptive sending, exceeding the limits results in 24-hour blocks on your inbox. If your sending tool doesn't actively manage this, these blocks can happen repeatedly, straining your provider's patience. These 24-hour gaps can be critical. By avoiding sending blocks with adaptive sending, you're not just preventing downtime, you're also staying under the radar. Continuously pushing limits and triggering blocks may lead Gmail to take serious actions, including suspending your account. And this is exactly what happened to the red inbox. Adaptive sending is a key component of effective deliverability practices, helping you maintain a good relationship with your email provider while taking care of your results. There are also additional strategies you can use to stay under the radar, such as keeping the number of daily emails within a range a human would typically send. This is especially important when automating cold emails. Luckily for you, Woodpecker's inbox rotation feature can distribute your emails across multiple inboxes, automate your sending and ensure your mailboxes are used at the right time, automatically keeping those limits in check. But that's a topic for another video, which we've covered here. To sum up, adaptive sending helps you dodge those sending blocks from Google. So. Down the line, you won't be caught off guard by that your account has been disabled screen. You can check it out now in the Woodpecker app along with other features that ensure your emails are sent effectively. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button here so you'll never miss an update from us. See you next time and take care.